Okay, guys, we have here a large inflamed cyst. It's kind of turned into an abscess. And this is on the cheek, we can see here, and it's a good three to four centimeters across, and you can see it's pretty raised up. Um, and as we talk many times before, we're going to do a little bit of lidocaine, but that uh, acid base shift that we talk, we talk about constantly with inflamed lesions or uh, abscessed bacterial abscesses, it switches the acidity and our lidocaine is acidic, so it does um, deter and kind of deplete how effective it is, but it does work a little bit. So it's going to take a little bit of that bite away. And then what we're gonna do is just a little incision and drainage. We'll culture it and get them on a good antibiotic and this will dry up nicely. If there is a cyst in there, which I believe there is, um, in time, we're gonna have them back and do a little excision to remove that so this doesn't keep happening. Okay guys, Mr. Bob said here, we have a large abscess on the right cheek that um, I just showed in the beginning video. We have it nice and as numb as we, we can get it with that acid base shift that we talk about in inflamed abscesses or infections. We're gonna do an IND now and try to drain a little bit into a receptacle and a little bit of pressure. I have a feeling we may see some cyst particles. It was probably an inflamed cyst. We'll go very slowly because we don't want them to feel too much pain or stinging or anything like that. And you let me know if you feel any sting, okay? Okay. Any pain there? No. Good, good, good. So we're getting a pretty good chunk already there. A little bit of pressure here. There's some cyst particle. That's what I thought we'd get. That's good. Yeah, it was just an inflamed cyst. So common. And you can see down here, that's actually quite a bit of cyst particle right there. A little bit of blood, inflammation, and what they call purulent discharge. And let's do a little culture. Deep in the pocket there, no pain or any? No. Good. That's good. Now, what we can have sometimes in there is loculations, which are kind of little pockets of pus. And you can use multiple things. All you need is something blunt. We reach in here a little. You let me know if any pain at all, okay? Okay, just a little. Just a little, okay. Yeah, yeah it's hard to get that deep pocket numb yeah. because of that yeah. acid base, so I'm not, mm. not gonna push around much here. Mm. And the base of this can be very sensitive, so. There isn't a whole lot. We got that big center chunk out of there. We're gonna put a little pressure bandage on there. And commonly, you can see this firm tissue out here. That's called induration, which is the body's response to that infection or inflammation releases a bunch of inflammatory cells to stop the infection from spreading through the skin. And you'll feel these are as hard as a rock. His has already softened up a little bit because there's a lot of fluid pressure in there. But we commonly have that. The antibiotic's gonna help with that quite a bit. And that cyst was probably only about a centimeter, but it really got inflamed. He's gonna get a scab there that's gonna eventually peel off for him. We'll leave that open so it can drain. It's gonna heal. And then we're gonna see him back. I don't see any more pockets in there. It's not super deep. There's not a lot of loculations or deep pockets like you'll find on the buttocks or on the back. That's it there. Okay. That was pretty simple. We just want to get that pressure out. He's going to sleep a lot better tonight. Simple IND and we'll get him on an antibiotic.